how are local anesthetics metabolized in the body? There are two classes of local anesthetics, the esters and the amides. Once absorbed from the injection site into the cardiovascular system, the ester-type local anesthetics are hydrolyzed in the blood by the enzyme plasma cholinesterase. The amide local anesthetics are absorbed into the cardiovascular system, but nothing happens here. They travel throughout the venous system, through the heart, and into the arterial circulation. It is only when the amide local anesthetic enters into the liver that it is biologically transformed into an inactive component. Esters are metabolized much faster than the amides. The distribution half-life of procaine is about 6 minutes, for lidocaine about 90 minutes. Articaine hydrochloride, which contains both an ester and an amide linkage, undergoes biotransformation in both the liver and in the blood. Articaine's half-life has been determined to be approximately 27 minutes. What are the systemic effects of local anesthetics? Once in the cardiovascular system, the still active local anesthetic circulates to all parts of the body. The vessel-rich organs, including the brain, heart, lungs, liver, and kidneys, receive more blood than other tissues, such as fat. If the concentration of the local anesthetic in certain parts of the body, called the target organs, becomes high enough, systemic actions may be noted, some of which may be beneficial, others harmful. Local anesthetics are drugs which reversibly block the action potentials in all excitable membranes. Therefore, the central nervous system and the cardiovascular system represent the target organs for local anesthetics. The higher the blood level of the anesthetic in these organs, the greater will be their clinical action. At usual local anesthetic blood levels following intraoral injection, there is no effect noted on the central nervous system. As the blood level increases in the central nervous system, local anesthetics possess anticonvulsant properties, raising the seizure threshold by decreasing excitability of neurons. As anesthetic blood levels in the CNS increase, signs and symptoms of mild overdose are noted, either apparent CNS excitation or more rarely sedation. These signs and symptoms are directly related to the selective depression of inhibitory pathways in the cerebral cortex. With further elevation of anesthetic blood levels, tonic-clonic seizures occur. The seizure ends when the anesthetic blood level once again falls below the seizure threshold for that drug. Cardiovascular effects. Local anesthetics have a direct depressant action on the myocardium and they dilate blood vessels. In general, the cardiovascular system is more resistant to the action of local anesthetics than is the central nervous system. At blood levels only slightly higher than those achieved following intraoral injection, local anesthetics such as lidocaine are used in the management of ventricular dysrhythmias such as PVCs and ventricular tachycardia. At higher blood levels, cardiac output and blood pressure are decreased. At still higher blood levels, circulatory collapse or cardiac arrest occurs.